Okay guys, today I wanted to make a real quick video kind of talking about this electric air pump right here. A lot of people have been suggesting that I get one when they watch the videos that I made before I had it. And when I made the videos of when I did have it, people have been asking me about it so they can get one for themselves. This right here I got from Amazon and this is the AGP Tech electric air pump, digital 16 PSI, 12 volt rechargeable SUP, electric air pump compressor and there's a whole lot of other words in the title but this costs $119.99 the price kind of fluctuates you know how Amazon is you kind of want to put something in your cart and watch it for a couple days because that price will change could go up could go down but I paid $120 for it it took about two days to get here and basically this is what the air pump itself looks like it comes in a carry case black zip carry case makes it really easy to take out to your campsite when you're ready to use it you just unzip it you take the pump out there's obviously an instruction book that comes along with it and then in the top of the case we have another zipper section that has the tube this end connects to the pump itself and then this end actually has a handful of different connectors on it. Now you can cut that off if you want to, but I just leave them on there. Basically it's one, two, three, four, five, six different connectors for whatever you might need it for at that time. I've been using these to inflate my RBM tents and I found that this nozzle right here is the one that I need on both tents. So I've just kind of left that in place. And it is kind of a pain in the butt if you leave these things connected on here. But basically all you do, these all have threads. You identify which one you're gonna need, stick it in the end here, and then just screw it into place. And then that will go in your port when you're gonna inflate your tent or whatever it is you're gonna inflate. Now this also comes with a charging cable and that would be plugged in on the top right here. And then you plug it into the wall and it charges this up. This part here also opens up and it has a cord that goes in your car. That's the kind of plug that it's got right there, it goes in your cigarette lighter, if it's even still called a cigarette lighter. <laughs> but that just packs nicely in there. Now I'll show you on the front here, we do have two nozzles. It's kind of hard to read what it says up there unless you get it in the light, but this one is inflate, this one is deflate. And again, depending on what you're using this for, you might be able to connect this to the deflate and stick that right in the thing that you're deflating and this will suck the air right out. That way you don't have to try to fold it up and roll on it and sit on it. This will just suck the air right out. You can see on the bottom we have four of these rubber feet. That just kind of prevents it from sliding around. We've got a handle that makes it easy to carry. We got buttons on the top here. This is the power button. Push it and hold it for a second and it turns right on. This shows you how much battery you have left, how much charge you have left. This shows you the PSI that you're set at right now, and this is the counter for when you're inflating something that will count up the PSI. These two buttons right here is where you change that PSI. If we wanted to do like, I use six on the, uh, the RBM Panda tent, and then I use eight on the Kuti Koala. So you just hit the button there until it raises up to that. It'll stop flashing. And then when you hit this button once, you can hear that turns it on. And like I said, as it inflates, you'll see these numbers changing and counting up. Once they hit that number over there, it'll automatically shut off. So that is a really cool feature with this pump. We have this button right here, which lets you switch between PSI and BAR. I honestly don't even know what BAR is. I only use the PSI one. I just know that BAR is just another unit to measure uh, how much air is going in. And then you've got this last button here, which is a light. And if you look on the front, you can see there are three lights right there. Push the button, it turns on, and you can make it flash. I don't want to do that too long in case you have some seizures. But, uh, but that's all the buttons on there. We do have this over here, which also moves to the side, and there are two USB ports, which is a pretty cool little extra feature on there. And honestly, that is pretty much as simple as this unit is. Very easy. It takes using an actual hand pump and makes it so much easier. With this, I can just plug in my tent, hit the button, and I can pretty much walk away, kind of help the tent to unfold. And within about four minutes, my tent is completely inflated, and I didn't have to put any effort into it at all. So I highly recommend this pump right here. It works great. There may be other ones on the market that are even cheaper or better, but for what I use this for, to inflate these big inflatable canvas tents, 
this works perfect and it's well worth the money. 119 bucks on Amazon. And I will leave a link below in the comments section and you can get one for yourself if you want one.